Welcome into the recap rush hour for Thursday, October 27th. I'm David Kaplan. Let's get to some baseball news. Very credible sources told me this afternoon that the, there is more than just smoke about Ozzie Guillen becoming the new manager of the White Sox. Nothing is done. But the same source also said to me, I don't think Joe Espada is a strong candidate at this point. And there is more than just smoke surrounding Ozzie Guillen getting a second crack at managing the White Sox. Of course, the first time was amazing. He won the World Series in 2005. Hard to believe. That's 17 years ago this week that the White Sox swept away the Houston Astros. Football news. Tom Brady's wife, Giselle Bunchton, who has hired a divorce attorney, reportedly now has given Tom an ultimatum. Retire, walk away from football, and we'll stay together. If you don't, I am gone for good. Reportedly, she is telling friends she's worried about his long-term health, and she wants her to be healthy to be with the kids and with the family. Also, Phil Simms, the former Super Bowl MVP, said Tom Brady attending Robert Kraft's wedding and missing a walkthrough and being with his Bucks team before a loss to the Steelers created distractions. Don't forget, he also left training camp for an extended stint amid reports of the marital woes. Chiefs have traded conditional third and sixth round picks for Kadarius Toney, former number one draft pick for the New York Giants. The wide receiver out of Florida has struggled. He was picked at number 20. That was the pick the Bears gave up in the Justin Fields trade when they added a number one pick to move up to number 11. And with all the controversy around Yee, well, Yee's Donda Academy shutting down for the school year, and they've got several of the top high school basketball players in the country out there at the school in California. The principal said today that the school, that which is founded by the artist formerly known as Kanye West, is shutting down operations. That is being denied by people on Yee's team. We will see what happens. Blackhawks and Edmonton Oilers tonight here in Chicago. And a good win for the Bulls last night, but even better to see Zach Levine playing north of 30 minutes and making six three-point baskets. DeMar DeRozan just seven points away now from 20,000 points for his career. And when he does that, and probably tomorrow night when the Bulls play in San Antonio, that will mean DeMar is the 50th player all time to score 20,000 points in the NBA. Click that QR code right there for the next TV giveaway at 50,000 subscribers. We're north of 30 already. I'll announce that winner for the TV from Apt Electronics or one of two $100 gift cards for pizza at Lou Malmati's. Have a great rest of your day. I appreciate you. Take that. Don't forget, unfiltered tonight at 6 o'clock on NBC Sports Chicago. Cap and Jay Hood in the morning, 7 a.m. on ESPN 1000. Now take that.